Right, hi everyone, and welcome back to All My 78s because this is um, a, um, a Billy Cotton 78 that I bought from eBay probably about four or five weeks ago. And I've been waiting to put it up, and I thought, Do you know what, I'm gonna have a bit of fun with this one, like I did with the, the Marrow song and the Lucy one. What was it called? Some of uh, something Lucy was it? I can't remember now, but anyway. <laughs> This is this is the Mar this not the Marisol. This is the thing. Uh, it's a great double cider actually, and uh, yeah, I, I just love it. So I thought, well, let's, let's play it. We'll have a bit of fun. We'll have a bit of fun because we need a bit of fun every so often. I mean, seventy eight collecting is a very serious matter. It's a very serious matter, but not tonight. Not tonight. Night tonight. We're going to have some fun with it because we should have. We should have some fun with our seventy eights, and this is great. On the Decca label, uh, 1951, I think it was about February 51 it was released. Um, and it's, it's just a cracker. A corker, if you like, because people don't like me saying cracker sometimes because you can. Anyway, it's a corker. Let's get on with it. The thing, Billy Cotton, and this is just absolutely brilliant. Brilliant. <laughs> One bright and sunny day, I saw a great big wooden box of floating in the bay. I pulled it in and opened it up, and much to my surprise, ooh, I discovered a right before my eyes. Oh, I discovered a right before my eyes. I picked it up and ran to town as fast as the king. I took it to a guy I know would buy most anything, but this is what he hollered at me as I walked in the shop. Oh, get out of here with that! Before I call a cop, oh, get out of here with that. Before I call a cop, I turned around and got right out of running for my life. And then I took it home with me to give it to my wife. But this is what she hollered at me as I walked in the door. Oh, get out of here with that. And don't come back no more. Oh, get out of here with that. And don't come back no more. <laughs> Town until I chanced to meet a hobo who was looking for a hand out on the street. He said he'd take most any old thing, he was a desperate man. But when I showed him up, he turned around and ran. Oh, when I showed him up, he turned around and ran. I wandered on for many years, a victim of my fate, until one day I came upon an old man at the gate. But when I tried to take it inside, he told me where to go. Get out of here with that! Now the moral of the story is if you're out on the beach and you should see a great big box and it's within your reach, now don't you ever stop and open it up. That's my advice to you. Cause you'll never get rid of them, no matter what you do. Oh, great bit of fun that. Really enjoyed that. And I hope you enjoyed the fun as well. That was brilliant. The thing by uh, Billy Cotton and his band. 1951. Brilliant. Love it. Absolutely love it. Thanks for watching this. Don't forget to like and subscribe and push the bell thing if you want to see more mad stuff as well. Um, and, and sensible stuff. I do sensible stuff as well. Occasionally. <laughs> Bye for now. Thanks for watching. <laughs> I'm going to play it again now.